Greetings Marines, Fiat here and today it's time to mod the most broken weapon in the game and its extended family. Today we'll be taking a look at the pump modded with season 4 mods and we're gonna follow up with attack and uh, any other mentionable shotguns that we should be talking about. I'm not gonna bother with the automatic because it's total crap. But the tack warrants some attention and so does the medved. So, what we're going to do here is take some of the overly broken mods from Season 4, apply them to the gun and explain why running this configuration is a good idea, apart from, of course, spicing it up a bit because we've been playing with the same shit for a year. Without further ado, let's get to it. So, this is my new configuration for the pump. We all know the pump, the pump is kind of broken and we're gonna help it become a little bit more broken. Whenever you see medium muzzle at this point in the game, the idea is you use medium muzzle. It's as simple as that. This thing is totally broken. My other build for the pump that I've been using and doing quite well for myself, as you probably know, has been this. High velocity brake with hollow side that makes it a stumble machine and field reserves that gives it reload speed and max ammo. For this configuration now, what we want to do is apply assault brake, then apply hollow tab side, which is amazing for shotguns, 30% accuracy, 4% handling, and 4% effective rate to hit for 6 seconds, stacking 5 times, that's 20 and 20%. For 3 seconds on hit, that means as long as you keep hitting, this 3 seconds timer will refresh. An overclock, it isn't an issue whatsoever. And we want field reserves still even in season 4. There are two reasons for this. The max ammo that you get is actually a substantial amount. It's 104 shells using max ammo 30%. And if I take this off... It's 80, it's 24 shells, which is huge. And the reload speed ties quite well with hollow tab sight and helps it maintain the bonuses for longer. So with this configuration, ADS will look something like this. And this will be your fire rate. With the reload like this. It's very, very dependable reload-wise because I've been running it through pretty much everything of these past months. And uh, very, very accurate over extending distances. With the new sight, it will be slightly better in combat situations than before. Now, is this better than the previous one? Well, what I can tell you is that the 0 0.2 differentiation in fire rate that you see here is not a make all end all difference but any slight edge that you can find in the game you should use it of course the pump is a powerhouse it's a gun that can function quite well even if you don't attach anything to it it's just plain out broken some people don't use it because it's so broken but here we want to get the best for you guys so of course i'm gonna do the best that i can Let's take a look at the other two contenders. The Medved. So, the Medved will go with medium muzzle again. Here we should have a rapid dispersal because it doesn't take a traditional uh, magazine. And I'm using Hollow Tab again for the extended accuracy and effective range with handling. Now, what is important to understand here is that this gun benefits a lot from handling, like the hollow sight that I was using, but you will take handling back from the activation of hollow tab sight. It's a small trade-off for your first double pump and reload, but then you keep building it and it will help you more in the long run. Tried it, it works, and it's fresh. So for me, it's in the book. Now we go to the tack, assault break, red dot sight and casket mag. Why am I doing this? I could use composite spring, 
but we really don't need the stability. It's plus 5% fire rate, but this 40% in the ammo capacity, 145 with the casket, 104 without it. We're missing 41 shells. And because this thing shoots quite fast, 3.2 shells per second, you will need the extra ammo. Now for the sights, I was thinking compound optic because it is new. Effective range 25%, zoom magnification 10% and 7% aim assist that we really don't need in a shotgun. But the red dot is just so nice. Gives you accuracy, plus weak point damage, plus effective range and some zoom magnification. I am open to people suggesting that I should use compound optic. Okay, it's 25% on the effective range instead of the 15% here. But here we get a smaller cone because of the accuracy bonus and some weak point damage. I think is a good trade-off for this specific shotgun because, well, it takes scopes, which is kind of strange if you think that it's a close quarters weapon. Yeah, okay, okay. I'll take a look at the auto. Again, of course, assault break on this because we needed to fire as fast as possible. And holo tab. And here I was using smart rounds because I want the fire rate and some stability. But I think this was pretty early in the game's life cycle. I'm gonna move to casket with this as well. It takes a huge boost to its ammo capacity and fire rate. I'm gonna demonstrate how fast this thing can shoot. But damage per pellet is meager and the spread is fuck all, like nothing compared to the pump. I will be running it in one of the future streams just because I want to show you how it performs even if modded with the newest of mods. You know I hate it, you know you should hate it as well, but truth be told... I just wanted to get the info out there. The bridging scattergun is a totally different beast. It has a small muzzle. Medium magazine, of course, we will go with casket. And then we go small optics. Doesn't really benefit from holotab because of its damage and shooting profile. So I go micro dot to get as much damage out of it as possible. As I said in my modding guide for this gun specifically, it really leaves a lot to be desired. Some people, I don't know, have the notion that this is the next best thing, but it really isn't. It really struggles. Trust me, if you know me, I study those things a lot because of, before I make vids, because I'm not a douchebag. So, these are got pretty much all the mentionable shows in the game. Of course, the highlight is the pump with this new configuration that I'm running. Mod it like this, test it out and tell me if you were happy with the results. We will be streaming tomorrow as normal. Initially, I thought I'd have to move it to Saturday, but now it's going to be fine and I'm going to stream on Friday as per usual. Sub like and share and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified about what I'm doing here and my new uploads. And if you really, really want to help me, consider Patreon or... Get a membership on the channel. Until next time, be well, stay frosty, and always strive for perfection, Marines. Geor.